in this video we are going to see how we can create the select box in angular like working with a select or drop down in angular so it's sometimes really uh, confusing so i'm going to show you like a really easy and uh, better way to do it actually so in this video we are going to create the uh, drop down select box from the array data so we will uh, design our options from this data this data is coming from the one package uh, because i want to build a small demo for uh, unit conversion with a custom pipe so we need a select box for it here so i'm going to show you how to do it in a just a couple of minutes so without further ado let's get started with uh, our code i'm inside a vs code and i have a really small application that is angular application i have uh, one simple component it just only had a, a tabular structure and just like showing the placeholder here so uh, in component there is nothing much more here uh, rather than like a, a length option it's coming from it is an array so it can be like a similar array of uh, object so let's say this array has uh, maybe key as uh, something k1 and uh, let's say label equal to my option so let's say we create the we'll try to create select box from this array so let's uh, go to the view file and try to create the select so we can use select tag we don't need a name and id because we are not dealing with the form right now here so for that we can just use the select and uh, let's create options from our array so we can iterate with the help of ng4 okay and our array name is length options so let's say length options now to show the label we can use here let's say this is item now and that is label this property and value can be let's say item dot key so this is how we can build our uh, first uh, options actually so whatever uh, the data there it will create that number of options from the array itself so let's check out the browser again in a browser we can see we render the first options from our array that is a my options so that means it's working correctly now uh, this time we will take like more data so we will try to render the different options from this convert unit package so this is like uh, having uh, so many uh, uh, properties inside that object so we will use like plural as a label and abbreviation as a value so now this time instead of this hard coded options let's bring the our data from this convert dot list length so convert units it's a npm package that can be used for conversion of different unit i will show like share the link in description below so you can check it out how to use that it just like written our array as shown in the console last time so but as this has a different property so we need to change our views as per that package so as a value we will use abbreviation that is abbr and for label we will use plural that is as a label here sorry okay but right now it will render the options but there is no way to catch this which option has been selected so for that like if you change any option in select boss it's trigger one event that is a change event so we can handle that event by the event handler let's say i had one select 
change or maybe on change on change method and now we need to catch the value that is selected in options so it can be get in event target will have the value property so whatever values has been selected throughout the option that we will we'll catch in this event dot target value and we will create this on change method inside the component so let's create method so i have just added this one let's say i will replace the name to the on change so let's make it as a like on change select instead of on change because the like uh, ng on change there is a one more event that might confuse you because it's a life cycle event of angular now once we done this it takes like a, u a unit as a string so unit will be abbreviation and we'll console that here so let's jump to the browser and see how our like change event works or not once our application reloaded we can see that it's like created the drop down and having all these options from that like uh, our arrays if we change this we can get like uh, uh, selected values from the on change select event so this is how we can create the select box but right now there is no way to like uh, bind the any uh, models or any value to the select so in a short we will see how to bind the model right now let's jump back to the terminal uh, sorry uh, editor and try to create one model so let's say i have created length unit as a new model and maybe having the initial value as a m that's for meter uh, let's uh, go to the view copy this length unit model so i will not spell it wrong and try to add the model okay sorry for my typing uh, so ng model and the model name here so once we do that it will like bind this model from component to the view so whatever we have initialized there it will be so this option will be selected by default you can see now our select boxes render with the all this option and the, the like a default selected is a meter because we have bind the model to the select box now if you change this to the centimeter it will like trigger on change events and we can console this like a uh, right values from that selected option so this is how we can like build a real uh, select or drop down the really easy way this can be the similar for if you are using the bootstrap that has like a div like structure for select or drop down so you can use this kind of method to like work with a drop down so thank you for watching this video and if you want to know like how to use uh, custom pipes with this demo like uh, where we are going to show full application to conversion of unit from like meter to centimeter or weight or volume so please stay tuned and check out the next video thank you for watching